Over the past decade, the gaming industry has gotten massive, creating worlds that are larger and more creative than ever. But just because the world you play in is big, doesn't mean that the characters you play as have to be that way. Hot Wheels Unleashed at some point, most of us have had Hot Wheels and pushed them around the track imagining what it would be like to actually be behind the wheel of these cars, making the most extreme tracks, trying to go as fast as possible and, with the help of our imagination, even making the sound effects for the cars. With Hot Wheels Unleashed, it brings us one step closer to knowing what it would feel like to be driving these tiny replicas. There are 60 plus vehicles to choose from in this game from supercars to more unique ones like the Dragon Blaster. The environments and tracks in this game are also phenomenal, from racing through an old library to a lab room to even an unfinished skyscraper towering over the clouds. The creativity and imagination that's on display in this arcade racer is exactly what our inner child would have hoped for. As previously mentioned, it is an arcade racer, but there are some skills that need to be learned. You'll need to figure out how to drift and handle the corners in this game, find the boost pad so that you can maintain maximum speed, and most importantly, have fun. Because that's what this game is all about. Little Nightmares While a vast majority of games on this list are bright, colorful, and happy, Little Nightmares is not that, and not even close. It's a horror-filled game of hide-and-seek where you'll have to guide your tiny, raincoat-wearing character through the creepy environments. If you happen to choose the wrong hiding place or decide to move at the wrong time, it's game over. The good or bad thing, depending on how you look at it, is that most of the time, your enemies are always in view so you know where they are, but what's most important is that they don't know where you are. The size discrepancy is what really adds to the suspense in this game. Seeing a butcher that towers over you when they've spotted you, or screaming and running for your life away from a lanky custodian just hoping that they don't catch you will have your heart rate elevated. The puzzles and world design are also great, tying into the story and overall atmosphere of Little Nightmares. I am bread. You are bread. I am bread? No, you are bread. Or I am bread. Stop it. Get some help. Not sure, but we are a single slice of bread. Not exactly sure what kind of bread, but that's not important. The goal of this game is to get this regular slice of bread from the loaf to something in the environment that can toast it. Whether that be, you know, a toaster or some other not so conventional items such as a radiator. How you're scored is based on time, toast quality, which is obviously very important, and whether your toast is actually edible. Which, in order to do that, we're probably gonna have to get rid of that whole five second rule thing. One of the best parts of this game is that there is somewhat of an underlying storyline. The owner of the house that you're flopping around in notices that something odd keeps happening with the bread, moving it around to different parts of the house because they are afraid and to see if the bread Bread actually has a mind of its own. And then, when they try to explain what is happening to someone else, as you could expect, they are treated as if they have gone absolutely mental. Stray. In this upcoming third person adventure game developed by Blue 12 Studios, you control a stray cat that wanders around a mysterious city inhabited by robots. You'll have to use the cat's unique skills in order to solve puzzles, uncover mysteries, and most importantly, survive. Stray is set to release in 2022, but at the time of writing, we haven't gotten all that much information about it, but we are hoping we'll get to uncover the mysteries this city has to offer and take control of this tiny feline soon enough. I am Fish. Can you guess what you play as in this game? Well, you're wrong. <laughs> Just kidding, you're right, it's a fish. I Am Fish is made by the same team that made I Am Bread. Shocking, I know. So you can't expect this game to be very out of the box or out of the tank. Released in September of 2021, I Am Fish is like a dark Finding Nemo, where instead of trying to find a way back home, you're finding a way to destroy the humans' homes. And with a name like I Am Fish, we're sure you won't be surprised by this, but the game is weird, but in a good way. 
It'll have you laughing more than you'd expect, but also have you raging a bit as you try to navigate through levels. Some may say it'll have you feeling like you're a fish out of water. Okay, on to the next game. Untitled Goose Game. This game is simple. Your goal is to be a sadistic goose that terrorizes society, which is admittedly a lot of fun. Waddling around town, stealing things, and wreaking absolute havoc on the much larger citizens of this town are the biggest priorities for you in Untitled Goose Game. But since the inhabitants of this town are much larger than you, you'll have to be careful or creative to ensure that you don't get caught. This isn't a game that will take you a long time to beat, but it will have you out of breath from laughing the entire time. Hypercharge Unboxed. Hypercharge Unbox has you reliving all of the battles that you set up and imagined as a kid. The enemies in this game are straight out of a 90s kid's memory bank, from the tiny green soldiers to planes and tanks and even Beyblades that are all trying to destroy your base. So naturally, if you want to defend it, you'll have to fortify it with a fence made out of Legos, right? Because that's exactly what 10 year old me would do. The settings that these imaginary battles take place in are exactly what you would expect in the backyard, in the kids room, or even inside a toy store. These battlegrounds are where you and your team of action figures are going to have to wage war in in order to defend what's most important. Now, whether you are victorious or not is entirely up to you. Grounded. An early access survival game that first released in 2020. In Grounded, you are the size of an ant, and all the bugs that you used to be able to squish or honestly not even notice are now going to be your biggest threats. From spiders to tadpoles, you'll cross paths with a plethora of creatures in the environment that is your backyard. You'll have to learn how to survive, which means you'll have to learn what resources you need in order to build a base, which we do want to note that the base building and crafting system in this game is well done, giving you plenty of options on how to build and what to build in order to make your base a one of one. You'll also need to know what insects to kill in order to get the best armor and weapons, which do play a vital role in whether you'll be the king of the backyard or a snack for a hungry wolf spider that you accidentally stumbled upon. You'll also need to explore so that you can try to figure out exactly what happened in your backyard that made you so tiny. But if facing the backyard alone is too scary for you, you can bring a friend along with you. Grounded is constantly being updated and inundated with new items and creatures, and hopefully sometime in the near future, we'll be getting the full release. So there you have it, our top games where you have big worlds but play as a smaller character. If there's any games that you thought should have made the list but didn't, make sure to leave a comment and let us know. And if you enjoyed, consider leaving a like and subscribing for future videos and we'll see you in the next one.